Does he have anything older that he's selling, like from the no, 60s or 70s? Definitely. Who's the Star Trek collector? Hey, you can make me an offer. Would you take 10 for the keyboard if I bought it as is, without yes. the adapter? You still a Reds fan yet after what happened the other day? Always. Always. It's my cross to bear. Morning. Yeah, at least it's not raining right now. That's true. Yeah, so we'll take it. Do you know if there's going to be a lot of sales in the city? I would think so. Yeah, I mean, I did not download the, the whole listing. And oh, is there a listing with all the addresses? Let me give you the, there's a QR code. Oh, cool. Um, with all the listings. But again, it's kind of, you know, tricky, but... Perfect. Thank you. Up. Yeah. yeah. Familiar with this area? Like, no, I came okay. from Cincinnati. If you go, um, like if you go back into town, uh -huh. like kind of the main stop sign in the middle of town, there's a Schwederman's Pharmacy right on the corner. Uh -huh. And if you take a right, that would be 274. And you go down, it's, it's before you get to the school, but the left-hand side, there's, it's, Probably our nicest subdivision. Okay, it's great. Pioneer. So. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yep. Who's the card collector? My dad. Oh yeah. Yep. If you, he's right in the house. It's... Does he have anything older that he's selling, like from the? No. 60s I don't or think 70s? So. He's got old stuff, but just um, hanging on to I it. I know he did say yesterday. Yeah. He's like, I don't have anything, you know, out here that's yeah. anything fantastic. Okay. You ne never know what. Mm -hmm. you know. But like for kids, that, you know. Yeah. Like they're kind of collecting mm -hmm. old Reds posters with Venus yeah, or anything like girl. that, or. Yeah, I'd be interested in Reds posters. Him, I think he put him in. It started raining in here. And it was... Oh, you got a Cincinnati yeah. Adler, too. Yeah, no, I've seen that you, poster you before. Johnny, Johnny Bench. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's got all these rookie cards on there. That's neat. <coughs> these are the yeah, that's just a, Jordan Wheaties poster. That's I got some cards underneath there. Oh, yeah, I didn't even see that binder. And there's some over here. But they're mostly commons. Just mostly baseball and basketball in there. I'm not clear, clear if they came out with those puzzle pieces. Yeah, I remember that. You had to get each one out of the packs and put them all together. Did you put all that together? No, I bought I bought this <clears throat> up at Columbus. I'm not a big Yankee fan, but I always I always kind of admired Yogi because yeah. you know, he had ten ten world championships, I think, that he played on. I'm gonna get your uh, brain quest thing oh, before. Okay. All right. Thank you. Good there luck with the sale. Go. Yep. Thank you. Thank you again for bringing that stuff out. Yeah. No problem. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. That's where all the price possessions are. Yeah. Yeah. Price yes. possessions. I guess. <laughs> you can you can lift it up and look inside. Beautiful ring. That one, I think, is the chocolate one. Who's the Star Trek collector? My son. Yeah? Yeah. Make, you can make me an offer. I don't want to insult you. He's asking 300 for this one and 100 for yeah. this one. Um, like I said, you can make an offer. Ed um, looked on eBay or something, and that's when he saw... Um, some of the prices. Gotcha. Morning. How much are these little water books? 
Great question. I, I think a dollar, but when she comes out, she'll know. Okay. Uh, yeah, good question. Yep. How much these were? Um. They thought they put a tag on it, but apparently they didn't. A uh, dollar for all three? Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. It'll be three dollars. Thank you. Good luck with the sale. Thank you. You too. Thanks. I'm going to take your uh, cowboy lockers. Oh, okay. I'll keep looking around and see what else I can find. Here you go for the lockers. Thank, Thank you much. Good luck with your sale. The adapter. We're having trouble finding the adapter to get it to run. Okay, it gotcha. Runs, but we don't have the adapter that makes it run right now. Okay. I've got, I found three in the house and none of them make it run. Oh, really? Yeah, but we, we know the people who just borrowed it from us had it running, so. Would you take 10 for the keyboard if I bought it as is without the adapter? Okay. You gotta take, yep. Sounds good to me. Yeah, thank, thank, you. You. thank you much. Thank you. Here. Yeah. It's handy, it's got a bag and everything. Yes. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. okay. Appreciate you. <laughs> All right. Good luck with your sale. Yeah, thank you. That's so cool. Yes, everything is there. Um, don't forget the, yeah, that all well, top. Really I good. just pulled it out so people would kind of know what it was. We're uh, can't grab hopes up again. Oh, excuse me, sorry. Sorry, oh, sweetie. Oh, yeah. Anything we can do. You the coin collector? Yeah, I've been doing that for years. Yeah? Just liquidating some stuff now. You still a Reds fan yet after what happened the other day? Always. Always. It's my cross the bear. There you go. <laughs> Student of Liberty. My dad is a huge coin collector. I'm going to call him really quick. Oh, yeah. See if he might want some of these. I think those are all barber coins. Are they? they? It's a standing liberty. Or standing liberty. Yeah, these are the barbers here. Gotcha. <clears throat> what do you got on those? Oh, Choice, I see. Each the one. Price is, there's a couple halves in there. Two barber halves. Hey, how are you? I'm great. I'm at a garage sale, and the gentleman's got a lot of silver coins. Yeah, from what I can tell, um, they're pretty worn down, but they're silver. Like, for instance, he's got standing liberties um in the 20s uh the 1920s and they're six dollars each um yeah those are six and then he's got some uh well he's got he's got a morgan from 1900 that he's asking 13 dollars for and then he's got i think they call them barber coins pretty worn um, it's a half. It's not a Morgan dollar. Sorry, it's a half. The one that's what, 1892, is it? Gotcha. And then he's got some, I think so. I just wanted to check with you. He's got some uh, Barber, I think, quarters 
from like the 1910s for 750 each. He's got some interesting state quarters that are silver. They're graded. They're graded. They're yeah, proof. that's what it is, proof I think. Quarters, yeah. Proof. Silver. <clears throat> yeah, he just has individual ones that got graded out by the different states and things. Okay, I just thought I'd check with you. All right, sounds good. Thanks, Dad. He's in the past, but I appreciate you, sir. Good. You have a good day. Oh, Should go three a piece if I bought both of these. Said six, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's getting quarter in it. Thank you. Good luck with your sale. Thank you. How much are your bats? Five. Five bucks each, okay. Mm -hmm. Tell you what, I'll get four of your bats and I'll buy this glove for two bucks. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get four of your bats and I'll buy this for two. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck with your sale. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck with your sale. Thanks. Thank you. Enjoy your day. How you doing this morning? Good. You? Good. I wonder if you go 30 on the glove and 20 on the bat. Um, yeah. All right. Fine. Appreciate you working with me. Yeah. Like 50 bucks. Is that uh, Luca's rookie year? Yeah. Nice. So, so it's uh, my brother in law, his cards. That, oh, yeah. I know some people look at it and see the price, but. I mean, he's, I'm sure his rookie's going for a bunch. His rookie, and then every every box has two autographs in there too. Nice. So it's one of those that. Yeah, cards aren't cheap like they were when we no, were kids. No, I mean, I'm, I'm assuming those. I mean, you can't find cards like that anywhere because they sell so quickly. But right. I mean, that box was probably 80, 90 bucks to begin with. Mm -hmm. Even if you can find somewhere that has them. So. Right. But, Have a good day. Thank yeah, you. You too. Have a good one. Back at the house, I hit 33 garage sales today. There was a citywide sale. And I was just hitting tons of them. It only took me two and a half hours to hit all the sales because a lot of them just weren't that great, to be honest. But about 25% of them, I ended up finding something. I got um, Paw Patrol coloring pages for my son. He loves those things. He also loves these like water wow, uh, like drawing things. I got a bunch of bats and gloves. Let's see, I got six bats and four gloves. This bat I got for three bucks. Some of these vintage D. Marie softball bats can be pretty good. This one, I'm not so sure. I only saw a handful of actives, but I didn't see any sold. Paid three bucks. I might be able to get 20 bucks for it. These four bats on the left, I paid five bucks a pop, and they're going anywhere from about 25 to 40. Uh, they're all De Marini. These three are fast pitch softball, and then this one is uh, high school baseball. This last one here is a uh, Easton Synergy SCX3. It is slow pitch softball. And if it's in good condition, it's selling right around 150 bucks. Unfortunately, this one is not. 
It's got a ton of little nicks and things like that. I didn't see any actual cracks or dents. So it's still sellable, and I think I'll get probably 70 bucks for it in the condition that it's in. I paid 20 for that one. Uh, this glove is by far my best find. This is the Mizuno Global Elite. Um, this is a, a fast pitch softball glove. The way that you can always tell is a model number will say FP if it's fast pitch. Some of them will actually write that too. Like this one says fast pitch specific design. Can you use this for baseball? Absolutely. Can you use it for slow pitch softball? Absolutely. But being a specific fast pitch It'll probably take a little bit longer to sell. I paid 30 for it. I couldn't find the same one being sold, but a lot of these Mizuno Global Elites that are used are going between like 100 to 150. But like I said, being fast pitch softball, I might only get like 80 for it. I'm not really sure. It is a beautiful glove and it has not really been used all that much. I mean, it still has like this uh, little tag on here. So maybe it didn't even really get used. I mean, there's a little bit of wear in there. Maybe they just put their hand in it to see if it worked. And, it was uh, too big or too small maybe, but yeah, 30 bucks, I was all over that. Now these gloves are not worth as much. Um, I got a, uh, I think this is a Mizuno Prospect. This is roughly a $20 glove. Same with this, this is an Adidas. I paid three a piece for those. This is uh, more like a $15 glove. This is a, a Wilson A500, paid two for that one. Got this really cool Yamaha keyboard with the bag. I hardly ever see them with the bag. I'm not sure that adds a lot of value to be honest. They couldn't find the uh, power cord for it, but I saw it took batteries, and I was like, you know what? If you'll sell it to me as is, I'll give you 10 bucks for it. And they're like, yeah, take it. There was only five or six active, and then only one sold um, for, I think it was like $125 free shipping. I'm hoping to get right around like 80 bucks plus shipping for it. It's got the bag and everything, so we'll see. I got these American Girl doll um, books collections, new in the plastic, Addie and Felicity for 50 cents each. I saw some going for like 40 or 50 bucks. Again, that could be a long tail thing, but for 50 cents, I had to buy them. Probably my coolest finds are these uh, vintage Dallas Cowboys lockers. Uh, these are plastic. I think the uh, brand is Suncast, and I saw a handful of uh, these sold. This one sold for like 75 plus shipping. Now, with these being so big, shipping is gonna cost a lot. Um, this one won't be nearly as much as this big one. I'm thinking I'm going to list this one on eBay and locally. And then this big one, I'm just going to list locally because shipping that would be a pain and also a fortune. So I'm going to hope to list that locally and uh, get it sold. I paid 25 for the pair. I think at minimum I'll get 50 or 60 plus shipping for this one. And then I'm hoping to get maybe like 50 or 60 bucks locally uh, for that one. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs>